Welcome back. Time now, 6.38, TGIF. Yep. Uh -huh. And the heat is on again today. <laughs> gonna sweat. Gonna sweat. That's gonna storm eventually. Yep. In fact, remember I told you this morning, I had one eyeball kind of twitching over. <laughs> yeah. Looking at the radar. Well, I'm gonna show you Something's radar. Something's showing up? Well, just a, a little bitty speck. Now, you see the little splotch of green northeast of Springfield, southwest of Springfield. That's just the time of day. We've got plenty of humidity. The radar beam tends to get bent, as we say, and uh, it really is not real rain. However, we zoom in just a little bit. Uh oh, look at here. See there, one little teeny, little, it's actually out of our viewing area, but we've got a couple little specks trying to show up here, uh, just west side of Truman Lake, another one there south of Appleton City. The reason I show you that is because while we don't have a front in the area, no discernible upper level system or anything like that, models have been keen on this area up this morning trying to get at least a couple of thunderstorms going. There you go. So it's not necessarily going to be widespread, but man, you just got to watch this area. So north of Springfield, primarily this morning, that's 10 o'clock and then it moves out and it looks like we're probably going to be done until Sunday evening. So not a huge concern, but something to watch. Look at the loop here. You'll notice we've got some cloud cover and just a few hints here of something popping uh, on the radar. So I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to be real widespread, but just we're going to watch it this morning. If you're headed out to work or doing whatever today, download our free app. You'll get interactive radar either in iTunes or the Play Store. Just search for KY3 Weather and it'll give you an updated hour by hour forecast every so often. So as it is, I think mostly a dry weekend. Temps are starting off in the 70s. Jasper, Mountain Home at 70. These are weather watcher numbers. 71 at Ava and Branson. And then a little warmer. Look at that cold camp at 77 this morning. And then we've got a 72 over in Winona. Fort Wood at 75. So here's the deal. Upper Ridge, we're on the fringe of it. It tries to expand a little bit for the weekend early on, then tries to go back south. Here comes the cold front by late Sunday. Now, Sunday, could end up being the steamiest day when you combine the temperatures, probably going up a little bit between now and then, and the humidity may increase as it typically does right ahead of a cold front. So as far as the heat index, I think that may be the worst of it, but that also means that as the front approaches, it's got plenty of fuel to get scattered storms going. This will be, I think, well into the afternoon on Sunday. So if you've got plans on Sunday, I wouldn't cancel them by any means. And especially if you live in Arkansas or let's say the Southern Lakes areas, uh, northern part's gonna be in on this initially. So heat advisory today, <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a little split. North Central Arkansas, Stone Izzard, Fulton, Sharp County, and then uh, from Morgan to Benton, St. Clair, Cedar, and Vernon counties. And you may be asking, well, how come it's only those and not the rest of us? Oh, well, you get a turn tomorrow. Uh, this is Saturday's heat index, or rather heat advisory. Covers all of us in Missouri. And, and really, it's an issue of uh, kind of splitting hairs in one sense. Heat advisory of 105 or higher for three hours is what we're looking for here. We're going to be really close to it. If you're out in it for several hours during these days, eh, it could hit, catch up with you. You get heat stress. But severe weather threat, actually, yeah, uh, with all that fuel in mind, the front coming in, it's roughly along Arawa to about a Nevada line on north late Sunday. But that front will kind of sag south and give us scattered storms early next week as well. So a hot weekend. Again, an isolated storm or two up north this morning. We're going to watch that. I don't think it's going to be widespread. Southwest wind 10 to 20. Tonight, we're going to be in the 70s. Heard that before. I think that's what we've been all week long. Tomorrow, about the same temperature-wise, but the humidity may come up, come up just a little bit. So heat advisory in effect. That may be expanded in Arkansas. 94 Sunday, scattered storms late. But area-wide, we've got the chance of it. And with the cloud cover around, we may come down in the temp just a little bit early next week. Then scattered storms ending on Wednesday. We're right back into the steam by Thursday and beyond.